Nebraska Class A State Final. Omaha Westside and Gretna for the second straight year play for the title. Westside coming in 11 and one and Gretna a perfect 12 and 0. The Dragons are led by Oklahoma State quarterback commit Zane Flores and offensive lineman Mason Goldman, who holds an offer from Nebraska, while fellow Nebraska offer prospect Caleb Benning stars for the Warriors. The fireworks started early in a wild game, one for the ages, when on their opening possession, Westside quarterback Anthony Rizak gets loose for a Warrior touchdown. And it's seven to nothing, a minute and a half into the game. Gretna answers right back. Zane Flores goes deep to Tyson Boganowski, and we are all tied at seven. Flores pass complete to Tyson Boganowski. Touchdown! Westside quickly gets deep inside Dragons territory when Rezac hooks up with Trevor Spadey. And then running back Jamiris Ross finishes it off 14 to seven Westside. Then Zane Flores is picked off by Caleb Benning and the Warriors are right back in business. Then it's Rezac to Rezac. Anthony hits his brother Teddy in the end zone, 21 to seven Warriors. Gretna back on the attack. Flores finds a wide open number five, Blake Moore over the middle and he houses it. And it's 21 to 14. 3.05 left to play in the first quarter. West side's turn. Rezac to Keenan Cotton, and he is gone. 28 to 14. 149. Still in the opening quarter. Flores now looking to answer, but he is picked off again by Caleb Benning. His second interception in the opening quarter. Then All-State kicker Tristan Alvano knocks in the field goal and it's 31 to 14 Westside. Westside gets the ball back, but big Mason Goldman sacks Rizek and the Dragons get the ball back. Flores then finds his big tight end, Caleb Schnell, first and goal at the two. Then it's Flores to his other tight end, Ethan Sturr for another Dragons touchdown with 28 seconds left in the first half, and we go to the break, West Side leading 31 to 21. Now we pick it up midway through the third quarter, Tristan Alvano makes it a 13 point lead with a 50 yard field goal. Gretna's turn again, Flores drops back, nobody open, so he takes off and he gets inside the 10. The very next play, it's Flores again, and will not be denied. He powers his way into the end zone to cut the Warriors lead to 34 to 27. The extra point was blocked. Alvano with his third and fourth field goals of the game. And now it's a 40 to 27 West side lead. 7.52 left in the game. Flores then, for the third time of the night, is intercepted. This time it's Jordan Hurst, but Westside goes three and out. Junior running back Isaiah Weber takes it across the goal line for another Gretna touchdown, and now it's a six-point ball game. Back comes Gretna, and Weber with his second touchdown, and with 1.55 left on the clock, Gretna leads for the first time. 41 to 40. Now four seconds left on the board. And guess who? You got it. Tristan Alvano is clutch. Warriors win with the walk-off field goal. Alvano's fifth of the game. One of the best high school games you'll ever see anywhere. For HuskerOnline.com, I'm Greg Peterson.